You didn't say the audio bit. You caught me off guard. <laughs> I caught you off guard. Right, go ahead. Right. Hi, I'm Dan Crooks. I'm Curtis York. Welcome to our new format of this channel, which is called... Poor Talk Sake. I'm just going to make you set a lot. I know, because <laughs> I'm really going to struggle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I find it so hard to set. Yeah. So we are still unofficial review, but instead of going by that name, we're doing For Talk's Sake to try and appeal to a wider audience and make our videos a little bit more interesting, I guess. It means we aren't stuck with just doing films and TV shows. We can actually talk about things in life. Yeah. So we can actually have discussions about different things that aren't life. involved with media. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But for this first video, we are doing a review, and that review is Bad Boys for Life, which is the third Bad Boys film, and it's came out, what, how many years after the first film? Like, over 20 years now? After the first one, so 95, 25 years later. 25 years later, and yeah. they're only making a third one now. And you know what? I'm glad they waited so long to make it. See, in all honesty, I'm going to go out there. I know it's only... What, the 22nd of January? But this is my favourite movie of this year. Of 2020? Of 2020. Fair enough. But, well, there hasn't really been that much out this I know, year. I think there? we should do that when we're reviewing a movie, if it's going to be the top one. That's the top, top one. one this that's year. your top one. Yeah, for this year. Fair enough. We'll have to make a wee note then yeah. of what our top films are. You know what, then? A notepad up here. Boom. January. <laughs> Mine is Bad Boys for Life. Okay. <laughs> Mine's probably the same thing to be honest. Ooh. <laughs> because I have for life and then you can just put a C and a D. I'm pretty sure this is my like, first cinema trip of this year. Is it mine? Is it mine? No. I went to see Frozen 2. <laughs> I think I've seen that before. Did I? Or did I see it this year? I don't know. I don't well, know. It's been since November. Like, so I know it was before because I felt betrayed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, this is my first cinema trip of 2020 and is the best film I've seen of 2020 as well. Good. Yeah. So Bad Boys 1 was probably my favourite out of the first two. Yeah. For the longest well, time. I don't know. I had seen the second one first. So I think automatically, because it was the first one I seen, I loved it. I watched it so many times mm -hmm. when I was younger. Like. See, I was made the first one. I always felt the first one had a little bit more grit to it, so yeah. then you know it wasn't as flashy as the second one was. Plus, the second one, the editing in it really irritated me going back to it because Michael Bay's cutscenes. Michael Bay, like an action sequence, no clip is longer than like two seconds. Yeah, just cut, 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 cut. It's really, it's like got ADHD. Yeah, so it does. But whereas, Bad Boys Three. Or Bad Boys for Life. It's weird that it wasn't called Bad Boys 3. I know. They uh, <clears throat> actually sort of stay on the action more in a single shot. And you get to, you get to see more what's My actually happening. My biggest fear was, you know, obviously it's 2020. What way were they going to make the film? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because nowadays they throw so much crap in. Do you know I mean? But I think they've done it perfectly. Yeah. Like, it's hard to try and imagine those characters from the first and second film in today's sort of yeah, exactly. environment. Yeah. But they did it so well in yeah. this film. They'd really integrated them well. I love, yeah, I love the way they used their age, but in a good way. Yeah. Like, the nightclub scene. Like, that was brilliant. Aye. Yeah. And then wee jabs here and there. Yeah. To but each then other. they had, like, the younger team come in yeah. as well. And when they came in, like, I can't remember his name, but you know the tall muscular blonde guy uh, yes. the way he was like <clears throat> he was a tech guy if you haven't seen it then spoilers well he's not he's really, not really a tech guy no. but anyway. he well, he's a tech guy but yeah. he's kind of like massive but he doesn't like violence yeah and he's really polite so he's like excuse me Michael excuse me <laughs> <laughs> I just, know. it's so weird it's funny Mr. Larry yeah excuse me Mr. Larry it's still brilliant the way Martin Lawrence pronounces his name yeah Mike Larry <laughs> And Martin, um, I'm sorry, Mar Martin Lawrence made that film. He did. He was what made well, it. Everything, he had something to say about it. Yeah. And the, like, you, obviously, you it's good going, writing. But you were going into it saying, I hope he still got it. Yeah, because I, what have you seen Martin Lawrence in, really, yeah. lately? Nothing. So I was like, has he lost it? Like, yeah. But this is a clear indication that he hasn't lost it I at think all. he used his weight gain to his advantage as well. Yeah. Like, they really played on it in this, which was good although he's lost a bit of weight since uh, so I think he might have gained it for the role kind of too 
But he's lost a wee bit. He's still yeah. not skinny like it. No. But, but like this was like Bad Boys I feel like was the film that made both of them action stars in the nineties yeah. because Will Smith had just came off doing Fresh Prince. Yeah. Martin well, Lawrence. he hadn't even. No, was he, he still was doing still it? doing it. He done one more season. Oh yeah. After, but because he, he had started doing was it Independence Day? And what was that other one where he was on the run? Oh fuck. Oh, what was that called? It's quite a big one. He answers a phone call or something, and then he's I like tracked remember. down for like they're trying to kill him. I don't know. Come over the name, but all those movies like they were all wanting him. Yeah, and he didn't have the time. All, to do, yeah, he didn't have the time to do. And then he was a rapper. He, he was quite a rapper. big rapper yeah, as well. At that well. point, yeah. But I tend to forget that Will Smith mm. was a rapper. I know. So I, yeah. I see someone's rap songs going like, yeah, like, oh why? And then you hear someone like, yeah, it's a good thing he went to acting. Um, <laughs> although in the last season of um, Fresh Prince, the amount of like jokes they made about him being in Bad Boys. Oh really? Yeah, they made a right. few like I can't jokes, even remember, so I can't. But that was the last season because he was. But then I think if it went any further, it probably would have ruined it. Yeah. It's a bit like Friends, like it ended on a high, which was good. Aye. But then Martin Lawrence, he was just doing your generic sort of comedy. Did he? Yeah, at the time. he done. Um, what was uh, that? He was Martin? doing was he well. Martin. Was he it? Was that Martin? Show I, or I remember him being in House Party one and two and stuff. They're good films. Yeah. No, he uh, he done a show. I think it was called Martin. Yeah, but then it was after Bad Boys came out. He was in National Security, Blue Streak, Big Mama's House. You Blue know, Streak and Big Mama's House One. Yeah. Two was good. Mm. Okay, three wasn't brilliant, mm. but. It's watchable. It's watchable, yeah. It's watchable, yeah. but it's not brilliant. I haven't watched it since I seen I've it in seen the cinema. Once, yeah. yeah. But then Will Smith, he just blew up and he's still one of the biggest actors yeah. of all time. He does on the age. Yeah. He I looks know. the exact same. You can see it in this yeah. film, though. Oh, I, the way I he holds the himself the bean <laughs> bit, Whatever. <laughs> but it's so good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, uh, one of the worries I had as well going into this year was are they going to try and replace the two characters that we know when we're here to watch the movie mm. for? Are they going to try and replace them with the new characters? Yeah. You know, sort of pushing mm. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence Out. aside away, yeah. but nah, they really didn't. No. Yeah. And the way they integrated both the car- both the teams yeah. was really done well. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it was two hours, five minutes long, but because you were enjoying it, it didn't feel like it. Yeah. You see, whenever it first opened up and I seen, like, the Miami beach... And the weird filter they had on the scene. Yeah. They make it look, you know, really like the original film yeah. almost. You know, that orange sort of Whenever it's color. Starting, like it's Part of me was sort of like, oh fuck, are they just going to try and recreate everything yeah. we've seen before? But no, it sort of just kicked in the gear. Yeah. And that's one thing it's, as well, it didn't slow down. Yeah. I was talking to someone earlier in my work and he was saying, oh, is it your generic drugs, crime, mm. all that? But see, really, it wasn't. It any, wasn't. It had nothing to do with drugs, nothing like that. It was about revenge, yeah. yes, which is in crime movies, but it was a whole different take. Like it, it wasn't. I haven't seen anything done that way before. Yeah. Which I think it was amazing. Like, I just think it caught me off guard in I a good way. This film did more for the characters than the last two films have done. Like mm. it gave you more insight to who the characters are and their bond. Yeah. Like their their bond definitely. Like there's it's bits where I was like, you only need to start. Obviously, something happens, but you're kind of like, not teary, but. Oh shit! Emotional, yeah. Uh, you're connected to so, these yeah, characters. So. You know, like they're so like they love like they're two guys, they're two friends. They like they are they love each other. Like yeah, they do anything for each other. And then as well, we grew up with these characters. Like how many times have we watched Bad Boys one and two? You're probably countless. Exactly. So they are. It's crazy though that kids of today, like I would send people in my work who <clears throat> I would work with some younger people. Like I mean, born after two thousand. Yeah. And I'm going to see Bad Boys and like, what's that? Never even heard of it. And then one of them was like, oh, I want to watch the first two first. And I just thought, like, how, how have you, have you, how not, have you not seen Bad Boys? It's like fucking hot fuzz. Yeah, but then I was talking to a 35-year-old man, right, in the gym. Yeah. Who hasn't seen him. Hasn't seen Hasn't him? seen him and he's 35. He must, he must have been living under a rock. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't <laughs> know how you haven't seen Bad Boys. Oh, that's what I was, I was like hot fuzz yeah. and he's like you haven't uh, seen yeah. Bad Boys too yeah. cause it, is, it was just it blew up whenever it came yeah. out like it was so much bigger than the first film and I would say a lot of people have seen the first or the second film that have never even seen the first film yeah. probably 
No, I am so glad Michael Bay did not direct this one. Yes. He's a brilliant director. He's not really, though. <laughs> <laughs> is I love films is he's in. I love films he does. I don't know. Transformers see, and all that. Oh, see, I don't really like the Transformers franchise, but I liked like The Rock and stuff. I'm pretty sure he did yeah, them, oh, didn't he? Was, mm, did I? Did he? Uh, it was Jerry Buckheimer production, so maybe not, actually. I don't think he did. See? The Rock was brilliant. Yeah. The Rock, not Bad Company, and The Rock were done by the same. Oh, were they? They're kind of similar. Right. I, and Bad Company's also mm-hmm. my favourite film. But... I have an issue with Michael Bay films, so I do. Simply because he so doesn't know how to for. do shots. Apparently really hard to work for. Like, sure, for Transformers, he got... He tried to get um, your girl, Megan Fox. Fox, to go on holiday and sit in the sun like she didn't she was like no I don't want to just sit in the sun yeah and he, obviously she was going to get paid for it but he wanted her to sit from morning to night in the sun so she could get really tanned what is the point yeah just give yourself skin yeah, cancer yeah exactly exactly just for a movie yeah so she then sure was clicked. it not bad boys too that she was discovered she was like a girl at a pool party and he seen her and he was like she's hot I want her in my movies really I I don't quote me on it. I just I remember whenever Transformers came out, that was one of the stories. But it could be in other words, lies. when you were checking IMDb, that was the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even I IMDb did. back then. It was Total Film Magazine. Serious? Oh, I remember you and your magazine pr- uh, pr- had pr- loads subscriptions. Of them. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but the first thing Darren does when he sits down and we're watching a movie, he'll sit on his phone for the first five minutes, literally, and go. Did you know that when blah 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 was ten, he blah 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 blah. He's literally just looking at the trivia. Yeah, I like the new things. I like looking up the actors to see what they're doing now and what yeah. they look like now. I like. I only ever really go and look up the actors if I'm like, I fuck, I know him from somewhere. Yeah. And if it really annoys that me, that that'll really go on right where he is. About your man in this, you know, the big tall oh, the blonde, blonde fella, because he is the guy that was in Grown Ups Two, the son. Yeah. Joe David. David Spade, Spade in it. I don't David know Spade, his name. Son. Yeah, I can't remember his yeah. name in the movie. But his son in it. The kind of reject guy. Yeah. Quite muscular. Buff. But he's really big now. But he was in Vikings. I never watched it. I haven't seen it. But obviously you've seen the photos on him in Vikings. Like, he's a big guy. Like, but Fair play. I knew I'd see him from somewhere. Like. Yeah. But I. No. They really do a lot for Will Smith's character in this film. More than they've ever done in any other films yeah. as well. He was it's very emotional. It's really his too. movie. Yeah, he was very emotional. Like, his acting yeah. was brilliant. Oh, why? Wow. They're both top notch in this. Yeah. There was moments in the humour with Martin Lawrence, I could tell it was improv. Mm. You know the way they sort of have that drawn out sort of comedy yeah. at times. And the people around them don't really know What's how to react. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you could see that happen a few mm. times, but it wasn't off putting. No. It was just something I noticed. Yeah. But it still worked and it was still I funny. Know. Yeah. And then the whole bits with Martin Lawrence just being older and not as yeah oh. <laughs> an athlete as Will Smith. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, uh. It's just done so well. But he's always been like... The two of them together is something else. So, but have they ever acted in another movie together? No. I think it would ruin it. Yeah. I think the bad boys, them it's two them. together. Yeah, it's, that's uh, just them. It would, if they were in another film together that wasn't bad boys, it would just take away... Yeah, from exactly. The Bad Boys connection. And I think it would ruin the movie that they're in because you just automatically compare it. Yeah. To it. Another person I didn't expect to see in this film was Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, like, because for that role, like, it's just, it didn't seem like someone who would have took it. Yeah, but, but then it was a good is role. Like, a beautiful woman. Like, she is. Oh, definitely. Beautiful, like, beautiful. That's the thing about her. I feel like Vanessa Hudgens, she does really choose her roles now. Yeah. Apart from those really terrible Netflix films that have been coming out. The Christmas ones? Yes, the They're Christmas the ones. ones. They look bloody awful. Don't watch them. No. All right, watch them. <laughs> no. Watch them. I'm not going to. Mamma Mia. So if you can watch Mamma Mia, you can watch some Christmas films. I don't know about that, like. <laughs> Struck an nerve there, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, is there anything else you want to say about Bad Boys for Life? Probably is. But we can't think of it right now. Right now yeah. yeah. Fair enough. What about you? Not really. Like, I think I've said everything I want to say. Yeah. It was a very good film and it was a great new installment. Yeah. Like, I'm glad now and that whatever. Also, there is going to be a fourth. Yeah. They have announced. Yeah. They can't there not has have to be. a fourth now. But I do hope they don't go with Fast and Furious route. Yeah. 
you know, where they do just start I taking hope the piss. It's not. Like, see, what worried me, the way it ended, it was open to either a fourth, mm-hmm. or the first thought I got in was, is this going to be a spin off? I hope not. Is this hope? Is it opening for a spin off? Which almost, it'll take it away from Bad Boys, so it won't make it crap. Yeah. But then, will the spin off be crap? If they make it a spin off, it probably will be crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but then, like, you look at Will Smith, he's still got a long career ahead of him yeah Martin Lawrence I'm not too sure about in all honesty yeah there's just something about him I don't think he can hold up as much as Will Smith can Mm. especially in a film like that yeah so if they're going to do a fourth one I hope that's the end of it in a way I was hoping this was the end of it yeah but obviously not well you never know it could be one of the ones where they never actually act on it yeah, I know. Could be, but... That would just be really annoying, though. It would be annoying. Because, because like, you watch it... Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2 had a closure at the end of exactly, each film. Yeah, well, that's this one, one didn't. didn't. Yeah. Because see, when it ended, I was kind of like, hmm. Mm. But then, that last scene, it kind of cleared it up. But can you imagine waiting another fucking six or seven years? Oh, I know. <laughs> for Bad I Boys know. 4? Over, wait, what? Anyway. Ten years, actually? Well, since two ninety five was the first one, and then two thousand three, two thousand three so years, and then seventeen years we made it. <laughs> seventeen years, like that was crazy. Yeah, so just to finish the trilogy. Usually, yeah. a trilogy is done in like five years. Yeah, <laughs> should Lord of the Rings was filmed all at once. The trilogy, like, <laughs> yeah, that's about quality, not quantity. You know? See, I would rather they waited. Six, seven years, or 15, and be but really got good. it right. Yeah. 15 years time, what age would we be we'll watching it? Going to cinema down, we'd be like 15 years. 15 years, we'll 42. be near 40, or 42. We'll be 42. Oh, we'll be 42 in 15 years. Imagine going to see oh. Bad Boys again in our 40s. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence will be near dead. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy, breaking out of a fucking nursing home. <laughs> Right. What would um, you give Bad Boys for life? I would give it 9.5. 9.5. I'm going to give it an 8. That's still good. No, it's because action films aren't really my big thing. Not really my big thing. Not really my big thing. <laughs> but it was a really good film. Oh, and it's probably okay. one of the best action films out there at the moment. Definitely is. Yep. Everybody else has to up their game. Yeah, they do. Definitely. And... I want to find out what those other people who directed it because it was Michael Bay directed. Yeah. I want to find out who directed it and what else they've done, because if um, it's up to that yeah. sort of standard, then Watch it should it. be good. Yeah. But I can imagine I'll if I actually find out I'll put up pictures of whatever other films have done, if any, and see if they're. That's what it looks like. That. You do realize this whole films. screen is just going to be the picture. You're just pointing at like somebody's eyeball or nostril, probably doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you haven't realized, there's a massive green screen here that's being covered by pictures. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I think right, on well, that note, we'll yeah, <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like these videos. It yeah. helps us out, and it knows that people are actually watching them. And helps us sort of grow this channel and continue it. Yeah. And on to finish. One, two, three. Bad, bad boys, boys, bad, bad boys. boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? What you gonna, gonna do when we come for you? Beats, no, bats, nice. Time to stop. <laughs>